Yo, what's up guys? It's the Mercenary. Boy, do I have the biggest understatement, apology, and no excuse update to bring you up to speed yet. First of all, I'm still around and alive. Just not in the gaming content mindset at this time. What's surprising most of all is due to my lack of activity, which ultimately I'm very grateful that I still have subscribers that I do. And secondly, the email that I got from YouTube one day that really shocked me. It stated, Dear Creator, we have noticed that you haven't uploaded much or at all in the past month or so. If you don't upload anything by this said date, you will be removed from the YouTube Partner Program. If this happens and you become active again, you will have to reapply for the Partner Program again, providing if you have the prerequisite 4,000 hours watch time. With that said, this was the result of why you've seen a YouTube short and a random thought out video with no commentary recently. Point being, I've gotten too much into the habit and mindset of enjoying and playing games offline and to myself that the thought of making any sort of video and or the idea eludes me shortly after. The other sad part is that this contributes to streaming on Twitch too. But on the plus side of all this, I moved to a new place a few months ago and the change to my mental health and overall being has improved drastically. During the move, I could have filmed it, but I wasn't comfortable sharing where I lived and how it looked. Upon me settling into my new place, the idea popped into mind to do another setup video, but I wanted it to look better than my previous set of videos and that it would require a lot of attention to detail, to which I wasn't settled in for yet. All these ideas had popped into my mind and I just settled on not worrying about it and just focus on getting finished. I did my last stream in my apartment, but I haven't dedicated a full stream to my new place as of yet. The reason I'm explaining this and getting to the real point of this is because I've been involving myself as a person and content creator as well as over the course of time. By this I mean I've been working over on my main channel which I've been focusing on outdoor recreational content. Over the past year and a half, two years at most, I've built myself an e-bike, one of those do-it-yourself kits. These projects have taken a lot of time and patience which happens to be a forte of mine. Now I'm gonna be straight up about this. Not only is it fun, but it has been one of the best moments and pure joy I've experienced so far. Like being able to go and see places that driving doesn't quite do it justice for. Now of course, this doesn't come without its dangers, pros and cons. Sadly on March 23rd, 2023, I got into my first ever bike accident. I was on my way to pick up my first e-scooter when traffic happened to be badly congested on that day, and a transit bus blocked my view and that of oncoming traffic, that I didn't see a car pulling to a gas station when I collided into it. Fortunately, but at the same time, unfortunately, I did not record this accident, but I did have a decent crowd after the impact. What surprises me the most is that I didn't break any bones. But I did fracture my PCL in the area that surrounds my tibial plateau. Now, I did have EMS show up not long after, asking me if I remember what time and day it is. Surprisingly, I remember that quite vividly. And then that's when I was put into the back of an ambulance which was my very first experience ever. This is where I was rushed off to the emergency room, which sadly in Canada, the wait times in a non-emergency room takes a lot longer to process a person than it would be to be rushed to the emergency room. This is where the longest wait began between being processed by being asked questions by the doctor about the accident, the time it had happened, and everything that was leading up to where I ended up being. And then the wait began for the processing of the x-rays and the MRI, which took its fancy sweet time too. Now this next part was the most worrisome, was waiting to hear back from the doctor about my x-ray results. And fortunately, I was wearing a helmet so there was no cranium damage of any kind. It was more so my leg and my leg down to my feet part, which would have been my shin, that I was eager to hear about. And then the information I came forward is what I mentioned earlier about hearing about a fractured PCL, which was known at the time as an ACL, but then was referred to as a PCL long after, and that I had really bruised my shin, but it was more, more so my tibial plateau that received the fracture. But surprisingly wasn't broken. And then following up with a scheduling of an appointment with an orthopedic doctor to find out whether or not I would require surgery, which fortunately to the doctor's opinion at the time, I didn't need no surgery. Which fortunately for me, I've never had surgery, so that would have been my first time, and I dreaded the idea of having my leg open for any reason. But fortunately, it wasn't that bad, I didn't need surgery for it. Now during this downtime, I could have gone back into gaming content creation, but I was just too hungry to fight my way back to normal so I can get back out riding again. At this point in my life, I had lost the bike I had motorized and began my search for a new one. 
But long story short, this has become my new passion and since watching videos of how to do content creation outdoors. It's more or less why gaming has been on the sideline and an activity I've been enjoying to myself as of recent offline as well as streaming on Twitch. Because of all this, my mind and ideas don't even generate what thoughts I want to do or what I could be doing to keep my gaming channel even minimally relevant other than I just don't want to lose my partnership status. I've also realized that this I want my status seems rather selfish than if I'm going to be active enough then my gaming channel content won't feel as genuine and passionate rather than low quality and hardly any effort. It's a harsh reality to possibly accept, but authentically it wouldn't be fair to my viewers to give less than what I put into my main channel. But perhaps there is a way both myself and my viewers can benefit from this, and that would be to direct you to my other channel where I've been the most active. I am aware that what I do over there won't be for everyone, but at least it won't seem like I've abandoned you. But as far as being a gaming content creator is concerned, I have found wanting to stay in one spot, contemplating what game I want to make videos on or about, has become less interesting and appealing, and being outdoors and doing more around the e-bike scene is generating far more interest at this time. I understand if what I'm doing more outside of gaming is less interesting to my audience, but if it's any consolation, I do know of a few gaming videos I could redo and expand upon as far as what has been the most popular according to my channel analytics suggests. An experiment from there. But even that content will be extremely limiting compared to what I'm doing currently. Without much else to think about or to address, I believe I've got off my mind what I want to. If you want to see what more I've been up to recently, I will leave the links to my socials down in the description below. If you guys did enjoy this video in any capacity, feel free to give it a subscribe, a like or dislike, and I'll hopefully see you guys over on my other channel. Until next time, have yourselves a great day, night, wherever you're watching me from. Peace.